Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on what is on my iPhone and basically showing all of my apps, how I like to organize it, my wallpapers, all of that. I guess we can just jump in. I have the iPhone 11 right now, the red one, as you guys can see. And then here's my cute little case. I got it from Casetify. I have recently just been loving light pink for my lock screen. This is what it looks like. It has a Bible verse. I actually made it myself. I posted it on Instagram so you guys may have seen it. It says, she is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. Proverbs 31, 25 through 26. Really like the verse. Before we get into it, we got an order from Case of I. This isn't sponsored, but they did send me some cases to show you guys. I'm very excited. I don't even know how many years ago I started using their cases, but they are my favorite brand. Got the cases here. Super cute packaging. First off, I do have to say. My favorite case that I usually get is the impact case and this is what it looks like it has a little insert right now so honestly they're really smart to use for tiktok i just had that idea it looks like an iphone people will just like take off the case a little more realistic but anyways we're thought this case is probably my favorite case that i got i think i feel like i'm gonna change it to this case very soon it's just a girl with a dress that has red cherries so it goes with the red theme and she's holding some flowers i usually use this type of case and i've dropped my phone many times and it has always been productive over the years so love this and then another case that I got a little while ago that I've been using is this one she's wearing like a really pretty prom type dress and I just really love this I also got a travel case it just has little stamps from different cities oh it has Seattle lastly they also sent me a this is their ultra impact case it also has grip on the corners as well this one's really fun for summer I'll have the link down below really love Again, love their cases. Now we can get on into what is on my iPhone. So I'm gonna start this screen recording right now so you guys can follow along my lock screen again. When we open it up, here's the home screen. I used a fun aesthetic picture that I found online. The first page we have random apps color coordinated. These are apps that come on the phone, most of them. Messages, phone, FaceTime, numbers, never use the numbers app, but I've used message, phone, and FaceTime all the time. We have them just color coordinated. On the bottom I have the weather apps with the weather channel app and AccuWeather. AccuWeather will actually show you a timeline where it'll show if there's any rain for the next 60 minutes. So it's really nice just knowing if it'll rain here in Washington sometimes it'll just randomly start raining but usually it'll show up here and then also I like to use this when I lived in Texas or if I ever go back there and there's like a storm because then you can kind of see when it's going to be yellow when it's going to be red when it's going to be over and it's usually very accurate why it's called AccuWeather so really love this and then the weather channel is also great that's what I typically use at the top I have the verse of the day by the Bible app by YouVersion when you scroll to the next page here's what it looks like we have a whole bunch of apps that are all organized in folders on the top left I have Spotify so it's really easy to access and it says the song that I was last listening to Bible app this is by you version and then the calendar so I can see the day of the week the you version Bible app I talked a little bit about in my video on how I study the Bible but if you guys are on it and want to follow me be sure to I don't know I think you can just type in my name Kaylee Elise and then be friends they have devotional plans that you can do which I really like and I haven't been sharing those on this app I've always been making them private but maybe I'll start sharing them and then you guys can join along and do them as well if you want to if one of them sounds interesting. There's read where you can just read any part of the Bible. You can also change it to literally any translation you want. I have five translations that sometimes if something I'm reading doesn't make sense, I'll just flip it through the different translations and see if I can kind of figure out what it's meaning more. It says there's 64 English versions, so you can download any of them onto your phone. Just have it with you on the go, even if you don't have Wi-Fi, cellular data, whatever. The versions that I have, NIV, most popular, that's usually what I use. King's James Version, because I feel like that's like the base English version. American Standard Version, Modern English Version, and the Message Version. It's honestly funny to read the Message Version, just like how they word everything. Very much in today's like language. Plans, this is where there is so many devotionals and they're constantly being launched. They have seven days of devotionals something you read and then some Bible verses after that. I'll go through a whole devotional at once because they're pretty short, but you can also do it day by day. There's that and then now we can go through the folders. So the top one is social media. I have a bunch of different 
social media apps, Instagram obviously, which if you guys aren't following me there, you totally should. My username is Kaylee underscore Elise. And then we have Facebook, we have Snapchat. I got it because my sister likes to post there, but that's pretty much all I use it for. And then TikTok, of course, again, you guys should definitely go follow me here if you have a TikTok and you like watching videos. My like top video right now that I keep posting are Call Me Aside, which turned out but to wear because they always get so many views and comments and people seem to love those. So if you guys want to help vote or get some cute outfit inspiration, then go over there. But anyways, then we have Pinterest, YouTube, of course, Dispo. I literally always forget about it. I've never actually posted here. Because basically, you just press this button, it takes a photo, and then you can upload it to your page. But you can't upload any other photos that you've already taken. It has to be taken directly through them. So I just always forget and never post. But I got this because I feel like social medias keep coming and going in case this becomes a bigger thing. I got it. I also have Clubhouse. Clubhouse is basically just an app where there's conversations that you can listen to of people speaking on all different topics. It is nice because you can just listen in on them or you can also join Twitter. I literally started using it because then sometimes they'll tweet a quote or whatever and then screenshot it and make it into a fun photo and post it on Instagram or whatever. So that's all I use Twitter for right now. If you want, I was looking back at my old tweets and some of them are so funny so if you guys are bored and want something to do you can go and look at them because they're really funny the work folder this is just a whole bunch of all different random things that i use we have the voice memos app we have the spreadsheet app to see statistics and just everything that goes into that because that's where i have one of my clothing lines through we have dropbox wordpress since i have my website through WordPress, Trello, which I think is some kind of like financial tracker app, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I got it because it was recommended, I think in a business course I took, but it looks like you can make lists, put your ideas here for different projects, plan out things, add people to it. So I need, I should definitely start using that. And then we have Google Docs, Excel, Dext. This is a financial tracker app. I think you do have to buy a plan though. I don't have one right now, which is why I haven't used it. But this I think is cheaper than QuickBooks, I think is what I've heard, which is why I got it. Just a business financial tracker or just life. If you're tracking your expenses, this is a great app. And then we also have Etsy since I've been selling on there now. Next up we have photo editing. So this is where I have everything to edit my Instagram photos and then if I'm just making any other things that I need online, any other graphics, these are the apps I use. So we have Lightroom and Visco. Those are the apps that I use for editing my Instagram photos. I'll just alternate between the two. Sometimes I'll use Visco, apply one of the filters, go into Lightroom to do touch-ups, and then apply one of the other filters again on Visco. So I'll kind of go back and forth between them. We also have Preview, which is a Instagram planning app. It shows your feed of photos that you've already posted, and then you can add in new photos and kind of arrange it. This is helpful. The only thing is I have been posting Insta Reels to my Instagram feed and with the Insta Reels, they don't show up on this app. So I can't like see how my feed is actually lining up, but you can at least make sure that all of the colors and all of that is kind of going together. My feed's not perfect. I try to make it go together, but this is also just a great way to know like what photos you still have that you want to post in the future as well. Canva, I love Canva. I found out about it few months ago, I've been using it all the time for any design projects. They have templates for literally everything. They have templates to help design Insta posts, Insta stories. You can add in photos, you can put text, a combination of both of them, whatever you want to do. So I'll use these for announcing new videos or projects or just posting quotes or whatever. They also have phone wallpaper that you can design, planner where you can create your own weekly planner or monthly planner. The cool thing is it works really well both on your phone and on your laptop. So depending on what I'm designing or depending which one I'm using, I use it on both places. I also have Planoly, looks like I'm not logged in, but basically Planoly is just like preview where you can put in photos and rearrange your feed and see how it looks. It's another great app. I got this because on preview you can only use one Instagram account. So I was using that for my personal Instagram account and then I was using Planoly for my Kaylee Lease Designs accounts then I could have both of them on different apps and figure out the feed for those. Also be funky but this is not really good on an iPhone. It's definitely the best on a laptop. It's what I use for editing YouTube thumbnails and then doing 
sometimes phone backgrounds, different graphics with text. I don't like the app. I feel like it downgrades the photo quality and then it also just doesn't have all the features and is not as easy to use. Really don't use Be Funky. Honestly, don't really need the app anymore. And then I also have Unfold and what does this do? Oh, Unfold is what I will use sometimes for Insta stories because you can go into the studio and then you can just put a photo or video here. They just have a few presets that you can use and usually they make the photos look really good. So if I have a photo that I wanna post that I didn't take directly on Instagram with one of the filters, then sometimes I'll go onto Unfold and I will put a filter on it and then post it on my Insta story. Next up we have my Faith folder. So this is where we have Bible Lens, Elf Sister, Right Now Media, and Glorify. Bible Lens is really cool. Basically you can choose a photo from your camera roll and then upload it and it'll choose choose some different Bible verses that go along with whatever the picture is of. It literally takes all these random photos. It's kind of funny. Let me just find a photo really fast. Let's say we use this lovely flower photo that I took. Hopefully it'll work. One time I was using it recently and it wasn't working for some reason. Basically what it'll do is it'll just put different verses. You can scroll through them. If there's a tree showing, sometimes it'll have a verse about a tree or just whatever it may be. And then you can choose what font you want it to be as well and then just save it to your camera roll. Super easy and then use it for Insta stories or phone backgrounds or whatever you want to use it for. You can also search up your own Bible verse and and use whatever verse you want. It's not loading right now, but it's really easy to use and I really love it. And then I have Elo Sister, which is by Sadie Robertson. It's an app for community. It's kind of like a social media just of people that are trying to build their faith or just need encouragement or whatever it may be. And then we have Right Now Media that I'm not signed in. I think I got this because there was like some things that Sadie Robertson, who started the Elo Fam app, or the Elo Sister app, used to be called Elo Fam was doing, so I got this app, but I don't know if I need it anymore. And then we have the Glorify app that I really haven't used much, but I want to. It looks like you can listen to some different talks by people. You can also read the Bible here, write your prayers if you have any prayer requests. Next off, we have apps for selling clothes because I have been selling clothes for a while, especially I was just selling a lot of things. I have Poshmark, Depop, Mercury, and Curtsy, and I'll kind of rotate through which apps I use. My most common apps are Poshmark and Mercury just because I've had the best success selling on them. If you guys have any of these apps, you can go over to my shop and see if you want to get anything, which is just my name. I think Kaylee underscore Elise is my username for all of these, basically for all my social media. Next up, we have health slash fitness. I have the app called Your Doctors, which is actually where you can text a doctor for free, which is awesome. Now they do actually, you can text them for free for three days or there's a short free trial period. So I just got it and was using it for like a day and then I stopped using it. If you don't have access to a doctor or you don't know if you should go to the doctor or whatever, you can literally just text a doctor here and they'll tell you what's wrong. So I think it's pretty cool. And then I have Sweatcoin where apparently you can get rewards for just like walking and steps. I also have the health app, obviously. It comes on the phone. Sometimes I'll use it to see how many steps I've walked if I've been holding my phone while like going on a walk or a run or whatever. I don't know how accurate it is to a T, but I feel like it gives you at least an idea. And then I have the Nike training app. I haven't used this in a while, but they have a lot of different workouts that you can do. It'll kind of just lead you through. You can start this workout. It'll say if you need equipment. It looks like this is an actual video. So they must have videos. And then they also have ones where it'll just show a very short video per exercise of someone doing the exercise. So it's really easy to follow along. It'll give a timer that will go along with exercise and then tell you when it's done. Then we have productivity. This is kind of just random apps that I use. My notes app, reminders, mail, and then driving apps. We have Gas Buddy. In case I'm ever out, I wanna check where around has the cheapest gas prices. We have Google Maps and Waze that I use the most. They usually have most accurate routes for timing with traffic and all of that. And we have video where I have Prime Video and Disney Plus to watch things on. Really don't use these much on my phone. I don't even know. I feel like I've only used Disney Plus like once on my phone and Prime Video I don't think I've ever used because I usually use them on my laptop if I am gonna watch something. But I have those if I want to watch anything on my phone. Literally forgot about them. And then we have coffee. So we have the Starbucks app and the Joe app that a lot of coffee shops have been using, at least in the Seattle area. I would think that more areas as well. But then you sometimes they'll have discounts for coffee at coffee shops and 
they also have online ordering that you can order ahead of time. Got both of those. Then when we change to the next page, we have a folder of random things. I still have Among Us, that's so funny. I literally was playing it occasionally when there was like the whole craze, everyone was playing it, but I haven't played it since, but I still have it. So just random stuff in this folder. A lot of them are just apps that already came on Apple. Shopping, I just have different places that I go to for mainly rewards. Alrighty, my camera cut off, so I'm gonna need to say these last few things again. But the last folder is social, where I have all these random messaging apps, Zoom, pretty essential. So anyways, that is all that is on my iPhone. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments down below if you find an app that you want to download and which one. I have a lot of actually like helpful apps on my phone for all different things. But anyways, also be sure to go check out the cases. I'll have them linked down below and I have a code for 10% off, which is really awesome because Case Defy really doesn't do sales often at all. I'll have it up here. Like I said, I love their cases. have been using them for years. They're my favorite. They have so many cute ones like the ones I showed and so many more. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, any of the other apps that I showed if you have one. But yeah I hope you all have an amazing day. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!